What's up, Mel? It's Mini Shadow Melon, and welcome to a brand new series I'm doing on my channel. Um, I'm going to be teaching you guys um, on how to um, make an application in Electron, which, if you don't know what Electron is, um, let me explain to you in the most basic form. It's basically um, something where you could you can use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, with um, Electron's low-level um, operating system APIs to create desktop apps, which I think is pretty cool. Um, in all right, let's just get started. So um, I have uh, I've already loaded on Chrome here um, the what we'll need for this video. Um, first of all, the the number one thing we need is Node.js. Um, as Electron runs off of Node.js to do a lot of low-level stuff, so obviously it needs it. <laughs> so um, what you would do to download it is you would click recommended for most users probably. Just click that and then download it. Of course I'm not going to download it because I already have it, but you know. Next, um, of course we need to install um, Electron. I am going to show you how to do that now. So um, open your start menu and um, open a command prompt and here you um, want to type npm well after you, this is this you should be doing this after you've installed node and added it to your path by the way npm space install dash g which means global which will basically add electron to your path so that you can use the command electron instead of having to go the slash bin slash node body that's just no and then space electron for me it's gonna it's probably gonna update it um but for you guys it would install it and in all its dependencies so I would give it time to um do that um I will just speed up the video real quick Okay guys, so um, that's the stuff that's updated. For me, personally, that'll be, all, it'll list all the all these different types of stuff that's installed. But, hey, whatever. Um, yeah. So now we're done with the command prompt for now. Just close out of it. And you can go through the page if you want. I mean, it'll basically um, explain to you what Electron is more than I'm going to go through in this video. And I'll even show you some example apps, biggest three biggest ones here being Atom, Slack, and Visual Studio Code, which ironically we'll be using in a second here. <laughs> Anyways, um, next, um, this is not a requirement for the series. This is just what I'm going to be using to code. So if you want to follow along when I say, oh, backspace to go back about the tab space and stuff, then you'll probably need Visual Studio Code. But it's entirely optional for the series. Um, you can use whatever text editor you want, even Notepad. I wouldn't recommend Notepad though, but you could use it. Anyways, um, if you want to download Visual Studio Code, obviously you just click download for Windows or whatever your platform you're using. And then you would save it. Alright, now we can close out Chrome and we can get started. So, um, the folder arrangement and in um what do you call it um electron is gonna look like this is your base you would have an index.html page which is your html main.js um your js and um package.json this was from a failed attempt at recording it so um i'm just gonna open each individual file well actually i'm gonna open this folder record um and i'm gonna explain to you one by one what these um code lines are instead of making you type them of course i'm gonna leave them I'm gonna in the description. I'm gonna put a GitHub link to all the code we used using this video, so that you can easily just like have a nice little copy and paste if you want. Because I'm not gonna really, really, really explaining to you. Um, I'm just gonna be explaining the code. I'm not gonna be exactly giving you the code. So you can either pause this video to to get the code, or you can just simply go to the GitHub link in the description and get it. Anyways, um, let's start with package.json so that um we have it here. So um, if you know JSON, you'll know what these are. This is the this these are open curly bracket and closing curly bracket, which basically defines um that that you've started the document. And um, this side here, um, basic it's even giving you definitions here because of my extensions. So 
Rainfield is module ID that's prime entry point. As you can see, these are these are all like telling um, Node.js what to what to name your app, what to what version to give it, and what what your main file is. So yeah, that's basically that. Um, this is the name of the value, and this is the value here. By the way, okay. So here in main.js, um, I'm just gonna do like a very very basic explanation for this, since there is about 57 lines of code in here. Yeah. Um, these three const constants here basically um, they're adding requirements that your app will need to actually launch properly. Yeah. Uh, this let win here will let um, your your web browser, aka your desktop app itself, stay open. Uh, yeah. So um, this this entire function here, this function here, is, creates the window. You can specify width and height here. I'm just gonna leave it at the default. You should probably leave the rest of these at default for now. Um, like this, this says that index.html is your main HTML page, that it's a file, and that you use slashes and all that good stuff. This opens the develop the Chrome Developer Tools. You can remove that if you want. You really don't need it, but well, mm, you might need it in the future. Just keep it open for now. Um, this is emitted when the window is closed, which basically gets rid of the um, the browser window by setting it to null. Um, this will run the create window function when the app is ready, and when the window is all closed, um, if the platform is at Mac, it will, it will quit. And on activation, if window is equal to null, if the window is equal to null, then it will create the window. So there you go. And then index.html, um, dot type HTML, specify the HTML, open HTML tag head. This thing here will let you use um, foreign characters, like Japanese characters, French characters, etc. Um, it will also let you use really bad text emojis. I don't know why you'd want to use it, but whatever. And then this title here is just the title of, your app of the um, window that you're the window page that you're going to make. And finally, um, this is the body tag. Um, you should probably be familiar with at least bits of HTML, CSS and JavaScript to get by in here, because I'm not really going to be going into basic stuff. There's header one. Um, and then here it lists the version of Node.js, Chromium and Electron. Yeah. So that's what we'll be creating there. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just going to show you what this is like once you've gotten it either by by pausing the video and typing it yourself, which one would be the most effective way to properly learn it, but that takes longer, or you can just copy it um, from my GitHub and, and the link in the video description. Okay, so um, open a command once you're done once you've done getting the code here, open the command window in the directory where um index.html main.js package.json is and type electron dot. Um as you can see the, the Chrome Chrome dev tools are here. Um, we'll close that. And here it says hi, we're using these applications for these versions. Node.js version 6.5.0, Chromium version 53.0, and Electron version 1.4.5. You can maximize it, you can minimize it, you can stretch it, you can... Um, these, this bar I'll teach you how to get rid of later. Um, yeah. So, um, I would have gotten a lot more into the code in this episode. This isn't going to happen again, but I just so happened to re-record. So I had to re-record this episode since audio was completely out of sync. Um, I just decided to go with that basic way of doing it a lot quicker. Um, next time I will actually delve into the code properly. Um, yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this first episode. Be sure to leave it a big fat juicy like if you want to see more. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be making a lot, I should be making quite a bit of these. Um, three days. Most three days later you'll see another tutorial and then at most three days you'll see another of this. Anyways, um, I will see you guys next time.